Hey guys, what's up? Jimmy here with another video. So it's been a little over a week since the reveal of the Nintendo Switch was made worldwide. Of course, a lot of us have already heard the rumors and, and reports saying on how it's going to be some type of a console handheld combination and come to find out that's exactly what it was. And past week, week and a half, I've been able to think a lot about the Nintendo Switch. A lot of people have been saying whether they're going to buy it, whether they're going to wait and see, whether they're just going to skip it and stick with the PC, Xbox One, or PS4. Um, and for those of you guys out there, I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch and if you're getting it or not. Now, one of the things I do have to point out before I get started is that a lot of people have been saying, um, you know, is the Nintendo Switch going to be successful? I'm not sure. Is it going to be a success? Is it going to be a failure? You know, the Wii U was doing horribly, is did horribly. Is the Switch also going to be uh, a console or a unit that doesn't do very well? And some people actually have thought, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a Switch because if it fails, I don't want to get a system that fails, um, which is kind of weird. Let me just just briefly backtrack a bit during the 16-bit era i had the super nintendo and the genesis and the turbo graphic 16. the genesis and the snes slaughtered the turbo graphic 16. but i have to tell you if in fact i only wanted to get the turbo graphic 16 because it was able to to uh, strongly compete the SNES and Genesis, I would have missed out on thousands of hours of incredible gaming experiences. I love the TurboGrafx-16, even though it was a huge failure. Uh, but having said that, do I think that the Nintendo Switch is going to fail? Uh, no, I personally don't. We don't know these things, but not only do I think the Nintendo Switch is going to be a success, I feel that the Nintendo Switch is going to be a monster hit. And let me tell you why. There's a lot of gamers out there. Of course, there's a lot of you out there that have everything. You've got you've got a PC, you've got the Xbox One, a PS4, you've got the 3DS, you've got the Vita, you've got the Wii U. You've got everything that gets released. But there's a lot of people out there, a lot of people out there that they can really only get one thing whether they're like, oh, should I get a Wii U or should I get a Vita? They can only get one thing. This is a real game changer where not only are you getting a console experience that can hook up to your TV, but also a handheld experience. You could take it on the go. A lot of developers and publishers are going nuts. Have you seen the third party support? It's gonna be way stronger than the Wii U. Of course, the first year or so, there were exclusives and things that people were excited about about the Wii U, but in the end, the third party support really dried up quickly. I don't think it's gonna be this case this time. There are a lot of third party developers and publishers that are super, super excited for the Nintendo Switch. And that's one of the key elements, a huge key element for the Switch to be successful. Of course, you've got Nintendo purists or Nintendo fans. They're going to buy the console day one. Even if there's nothing available, there's no Zelda game, no Mario game, no nothing. They've maybe just got some demos or whatever. They're like, you know what? I'm getting this Nintendo console. But then there's a lot of people out there that are like, well, hold on a second. I know there's going to be Mario. I know there's going to be Zelda. I know there's going to be Metroid um, and Mario Kart. What about the third party support? What is Activision gonna do? What is Capcom gonna do? What is Square Enix gonna do? And so I think third party support is gonna be really strong with the Switch. That's key element number one. Uh, and with the key element number two, as far as like I just mentioned, a lot of people out there, they're like, this is a console experience and also I can take this on the go. I don't have, I don't have to choose between buying one or the other. If I just buy one thing, I get both. I really think, now, let me just kind of backtrack again. When the Xbox 360 was first released, it sold 10 million consoles in its first year, and it was considered a monster hit. I feel if Nintendo can keep the Switch in stock, it's being released in March, I honestly feel that Nintendo has the potential to sell at least, at least 10 million consoles in its first nine months. Now, with the Nintendo Switch, of course, a lot of you guys, most of you guys, probably all of you guys have seen this, where it has a stocking station and the tablet. You put the tablet in, uh, you can play the game on your couch, in your chair, standing up, whatever. But then if you want to go, take it on the go. You can put it in your backpack. 
um, or just take it with you on the go and you can take the game you were playing on your TV on the go very seamlessly. Now, of course, in the past, you have the, the Neo Geo X where you could use your little Neo Geo X to play the, on the TV, you play Neo Geo games on the TV, they can take those on the go. Then, of course, you have the TurboGrafx-16 where you could play TurboGrafx-16 Hue cards uh, on your TV, but then you could use a TurboGrafx Express and take those very same games and take those games on the, on the road. But this is Nintendo we're talking about here. And this is, and also the N NVIDIA a few years ago or another company, they had this tablet that had detachable controllers. You're like, hey, that's been done before. It may have been done before, but not with the influence and power of Nintendo. Uh, again, they're gonna have Mario, they're gonna have Zelda, they're gonna have all their first party franchises, but I am excited to see what third party companies are going to be making games for this. What what games uh, is Capcom going to release? What game? Can you imagine a new Mega Man game? Of course, Mega Man one through six um, was huge on the NES. Can you imagine Mega Man returning on a Nintendo console? How bonkers that would be! Uh, that would be nuts. What games could Square Enix release on this? Uh, crazy talk what game of course has not been confirmed it's only been confirmed for the xbox one and ps4 but what games could rockstar bring to the switch um you know who knows but you know of course you've got this console that you can take on the go console slash handheld combo switch and you can take off the controllers you've got a kickstand in the back where you can put on the table or you can hold it like a nintendo wii u gamepad if I'm being honest, real talk right here, when they showed the pictures of the detachable controllers, now I know that this is just the reveal, there's months before this game, this system gets released, but what they showed in the trailer, those little controllers they use, those little ones that detached off, they look kind of cheap. I know, they're probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but um, they'll probably, this is Nintendo, Nintendo is known for quality. They'll probably improve upon it, but the actual controller look kind of cheap. Also, I got bro hands right here. And did you see with the guys playing the Nintendo Switch controllers and how the left thumb is uh, on one side of the controller and the right thumb is on one of the buttons? If that right thumb went to the, the furthest left button, those thumbs would be practically touching. Uh, so... <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about uh, about playing it like that. Um, I'll be maybe using both of them or using that the controller that looked like an Xbox One controller or a, a Wii U Pro controller. I'll probably be playing it. I will be getting the Nintendo Switch. You might be wondering. I will definitely be getting it. I'm excited. Um, I feel that Nintendo has a real opportunity on their hands right now. So we already talked about third-party support. Uh, we already talked about um, the whole thing with uh, taking on the go with, you know, with consumers out there where they don't have to choose twice. They only have to choose once. They don't have to go, oh, should I get a handheld? Should I get a console? Should I get this console, this console? You get the Nintendo Switch, you can get a console and handheld experience in one. This is huge. This can be a big deal. Now, the third and final thing I have to say that there could be a huge game changer is price. Now, Michael Pachter, uh, a financial analyst in the gaming industry, he said on how that he feels the Nintendo Switch should be no more than 300 bucks. I, you know, what do you guys think about the price for the Nintendo Switch? I think actually if Nintendo got it to 250 or even 200 bucks, now some of you guys thinking like, Jimmy, what are you talking about? 200 bucks is bananas. There's no way Nintendo's gonna sell this thing. It's got a tablet, it's this new technology, it's got the dock. There's no way they're gonna sell it for 200 bucks. But just think of it for a second. If they could get it to 200 bucks, what kind of a price point and influence that could have on the industry, not just on the consumers, but also in enticing third-party support and developers? Do you think that's even possible, a 250 or 200 price point? Again, you've got a lot of cool stuff going on with this Nintendo Switch. But I think if Nintendo came in guns blazing, we got this new technology. 
We've got strong third-party support. We've got this sweet experience where it's a console and handheld experience and you can get it for 200 bucks. Again, that's probably bonkers, but let me know guys what you think in the comment section below. I think the Switch has some real potential. If Nintendo can keep up the stock and if they can encourage and not discourage third-party support, just go, you know what? We've done really well in the past, but we really need your help and you're an incredible company, whether they're talking to Capcom, uh, or Activision, or Square Enix, or Rockstar. Uh, they've just got a team, you know, they got legendary uh, developers um, working for them, of course, Nintendo, but if they could really just get a strong, strong relationship with a lot of these developers and publishers, they have a real opportunity on, your, on their hands. So anyway, guys, the, there's my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's a great idea and I'm definitely getting it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. I'll talk to you later.